Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video, welcome to another class here today. My name is Ismail, I'm going to be Dr. Zidat's guest. I'm also one of his students. Today we're going to go over Rolle's theorem and mean value theorem. Okay. The meaning of Rolle's theorem, hi everybody first of all, I'm welcoming Mr. Ismail and I wish everyone to be safe. Now, for real theorem in calculus, the meaning, the main meaning of real theorem, is what, what's the main meaning? Is the tangent of the line is what? Horizontal. Horizontal. The tangent line is horizontal. What the meaning if the tangent line is horizontal? Mean the derivative at that point equal what? Zero. Zero. To apply real theorem, can I have? To apply real theorem, you have to have some condition before you start. You have to have some condition. The first condition, f has to be continuous, and f has to be what? Differentiable. And f a has to be equal f to b, f b. You see the difference? f a has to be f b, the same values. You know what I mean? At the same level. The, at the same what? Level. Now, if that, all this, if, if we prove all that, then there is c, uh, where in the open interval a b, right? where the tangent line is horizontal, which is mean I told you if prime equal prime of c equals zero. Look, Ismail, continuity has to be in closed interval. Differentiable has to be in what? It doesn't matter, right? It has to be in open what? Interval. Just to see the meaning of this, you see this? You see this here? Tangent line is what? Horizontal between what? two values in this interval, right? And here horizontal, right? Then we have C here and C here, right? One, two, three, C is for this function. For mean value theorem, the, it, it's, look here, Ismail. Rule theorem is a special case of what? Mean value. mean value theorem. Because mean value theorem is saying the same thing. The function has to be continuous in a closed interval. The function has to be continuous again in closed interval. The function has to be differentiable in open what? Interval. There is no such condition f a equal to f b like what? Rolle theorem, right? Then, and I mentioned this, you don't have to have the function differentiable at the end point, right? Then if these two conditions exist, then, what we have, they have C and A and B, where the slope of the tangent. What the meaning of slope of the tangent, Ismail? F a prime of C, right? Where are you going to find the tangent? Equal to the slope of what? The secant. Most of the students, they get confused between the secant and the tangent. The slope of the tangent means derivative, right? The slope of the secant means what? the average rate, the average rate, fb minus f of a over b minus what a. Both, they have to be equal. Good? Some examples. Some examples illustrate this, okay? Some example. Let us go to the board and apply some example, okay? Example one. Right? To see rolls or MVT, which theorem you can apply for this example. F of x equal x squared plus 2x and x belong to interval negative. Negative 3 and 1. Okay. Look, for both theorem, for both theorems, rolls and what? MVT, right? F is what? Continuous and what? 
differentiable, right? Because, because what? That's a polynomial. F of good job, Spain. F of x polynomial. Then polynomial. Okay? Okay. For some student. Polynomial. Good? Now left one condition. Let us try that condition. This A and this B. If f of a equal to f of b, that means we can apply which one? Rawls theorem. Let us see. What we need to find f of negative 3. What f of negative 3 is my negative 3 square? 2 times negative 3. 9 minus 6 is what? 3. Okay, what's the second one? f of 1, right? 1 is square plus 2 times 1. Wow. Since, since, look here, that's the idea. Since f of 1, f of negative 3 equal f of 1, f is continuous and differentiable, then we can apply rolls. Theorem. How we apply is mine. We find f prime of what? C. C, which is you you derive the function, you derive it, but you change x to what? C. C. My function is it's gonna be x is squared gonna be two c plus c plus two, right? Two c plus what? Two. Roll theorem mean f prime of c equals zero. And C belongs to a, uh, my interval is negative 3 and 1, right? Mm -hmm. Good job, Smile. Serious good job. Equal 0. I receive a lot of questions about problem about this, man. I don't know what hard is this. Do you see something hard in this? You move 2 to the negative side. Divide by 2, divide by 2. C equal negative 1. Good? Negative 1 belongs to a negative 3 and 1. This belong. This mean in math is what? What the meaning of this? Belong. Belong. Belong to. Okay. Another example. Smile. Do you turn? F of x equal x square minus 2x plus 1 x belong to close interval 1 and negative 1 and 2. Tell me now nice and neat, okay? It's continuous. Write down, okay? And it's, a, and it's differential. Okay. Then right, you have to write it. You have to write the, you, you, you will not take point. You have to write more proportional. Can I help you a little bit? But it's continuous and differentiable. have to find the, to write the reason. So maybe you find uh, f of negative 1 and f2. If it's not equal, they are not equal, that will help you with the mean value theorem, right? Mm -hmm. f of negative 1. Use a different color. Can you use different color, please? No, just erase it. Can you just erase it, please?
1 plus 2, 4, 2 minus 4 minus 4 plus 1. 1. Now, here, can I just have it? that since, since f of negative 1 does not equal 2, f of what? F of 2, then we cannot apply, you cannot, we cannot apply Rolle theorem, right? It's failed, right? Right? We can apply what? Mean value theorem. Then let us apply mean value theorem, right? Mean value theorem is good, right? Then we can apply f prime of c. Equal what? F of 2, right? Minus F of negative 1 over 2 minus what? Negative 1. Negative 1. If a prime of C is what? 2C two two C minus 2. 2C two. Two minus what? Look, that help us. If you found you found already F of 2 and F of negative 1, right? F of 2 is 1. F of 2 is what? 1. It's going to be negative 3. Minus 4, right? Over what? 3. Negative 3 over what? 3. Equal what? Negative 1. Negative 1 belongs to my interval. Which one? My, what's my interval? Negative 1 and 2. Right? Don't you have to take? Don't you have to solve? Oh, 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 he's right. You see that Ismail? You did. Okay. Now we know that Ismail is following me. Right, Ismail? Mm -hmm. You following me? Ismail, he said, why don't take two c minus two equal to negative one? Ismail, you are right. Plus two, plus what? Two c equal what? One. So one. Maybe one half. C equals one half. C equal one half. Which is still a negative one. Belong to. It's made you know what's it's made you know what's funny here? But I'm gonna ask you a question, half the question. I'm gonna ask you hard what? Question. Uh, why? Most of the teachers, they give this question. You see, look, Ismail, this A, this B. My function, my function f of x is second degree. Second what? Degree. Which is quadratic. Right? Mm -hmm. If you add A plus B, negative 1 and plus 2, and you divide by 2, it's going to be 1 over 2, which is the same value of what? C. C. In, in all quadratic function, the C is the middle value of the interval. Can you prove this for me? Can you prove? I have this question here. Look, Ismail. Look, Ismail, what is this question? The last question we're going to do. Look at the, go to the last question. Look, Ismail, what is this question? Read it. <clears throat> Consider the quadratic function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where c1 can't be 0. Show that the number c in the conclusion of the mean value theorem is always the midpoint of a no, given I'm, I'm sorry. Here, let me just erase this one. Okay, let me just open it in a different file because this I, we can't write this, right? And this, right? Uh, where's the problem? It cannot be zero. Where A what? No. How we solve this one? We need to prove that C equal A, that's what we need to prove. Look, I want to start what, with what we want. Now, f is continuous and what? Differentiable because it's polynomial, right? Good, this number one. Yeah. 
then the, the, the real prime theorem, f a prime of c equal what? f of a, right? f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Good? I'm going to finish this problem in the board because I need more space, right? I know the equation. Then, I'm going to finish in this board because I need more space. Then f of x, I have a x squared bx plus c. A, a cannot be 0. And my interval is a and what? b. Good? What I want, a proof, right? What? c equal what? a plus b over 2, okay? Watch. f a prime of c, right? Equal, equal what? 2, a, x, plus, plus b. b. Now, also, what we need to find, f of a. What f of a is my name? a a square b a plus c what f of c f of b is a b square a b square plus b b plus c now f of b minus f of a right mm -hmm. on the side I'm going to do them here it's better for me to do f of b minus what? f of a, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a a square b a plus what? C. And here a, 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 b square, square. plus Go ahead, B, 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 plus C. No, look, Ismail, look to this guy here, plus what? C. And here what? C. And what we have here? Negative. Right? Yeah. This what? Cancel with this, right? Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Now look to the A here. A becomes with A squared minus what? B. B squared, right? Yeah. This and this. Plus? B, B with what? A minus B. A minus what? B. B. Good? Then we have this here, 2. A, now we're going to see f of, this f of x, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to be what? 2AC plus B equal. Right? Yeah. A square minus B square, right? Plus A minus B, right? A and what? B. B, right? Good. And here, uh, B minus what? A, right? Yeah. B minus A. B minus A. equal a this a minus b and a what plus b this guy right yeah a plus b a minus b over what b minus what a, a. equal this stays here 2ac minus plus b 2ac plus b and here a minus b Right? Yeah. You can take a minus b as a common factor? Yes. What left here? A, a plus b, right? Mm -hmm. And the plus what? B. This guy, this guy, this guy here, right? Yeah. Over b minus a. Look here. This a minus b and this b minus a, right? 
Yeah. They cancel each other with negative one, right? Yeah. Why? Because they're opposite. A minus B, B minus A. And here, A, A plus A, B plus what? B. B. Equal what? 2AC plus B. 2AC plus B. Right? Subtract from B, divide by 2. Mm -hmm. Minus B minus B plus 2B, right? Uh -huh. 2AC plus B negative. Let me just back here. F of B minus A. Uh, if it's B minus A here, what is the opposite? It is B minus A. It's not eh? A minus B. Eh? It's B minus A. It's B minus A. We did the opposite here. We have to back here and read re this one. No problem. Okay. Can we do that? We did the opposite? Yes, we did the opposite. It was B minus A. This is going to be all this, right? This is going to be... Wait, we're going to do it. A b square db plus c right minus a a square right plus b a plus what c cancel this with this right will be a right b square minus a square right plus b right b minus a now you take, you can't do this one. I want to do this one here. A, this B minus A, B plus A. Factoring, right? Yeah. Plus B, B minus A. Now take B minus A as a common factor. Take B minus A as a common factor. Is left a b plus a plus b. Simplify this one b minus a a b a a plus b, right? Yeah. Now come here and all what we have to change here, small change, right? Now what we have is my here. Subtract by B. B, cancel with B, minus B, right? Mm -hmm. Minus B. Right? And now by take A as a good factor, right? Divide by 2A. Two 2AC. Two equal what? A, right? A plus B. What left? A plus B. Divide by what? 2A. Divide by 2A. Then that's what we need, right? Mm -hmm. Then C is the mid point. Thank you guys and have a good day. And wait for us for a new class, a new class which is in area under what? Area under a graph. Area under a graph. Thank you and have a nice day.